Hi, welcome to Karen Texas. Thank you for watching. I am getting some review, uh, some views. I don't get comments, but that's fine. I apologize that this is not full screen. I have tried switching ratios. I've tried turning my camera sideways. I don't know. I think I've managed to, in the years that I have recorded, especially with this phone, only twice to maybe somehow get it full. I don't know what the deal is. So I went to Dollar Tree yesterday and today. I was looking for some stuff in particular. We're going to have to take a trip next Tuesday. I didn't want my kid to be on the phone the entire time that we're in the car because it's like a five and a half to six hour trip. We go around Dallas. Um, so I had to go to two different stores. The first thing I did, I needed a... I needed a bag that was like, I don't know, wet proof, waterproof, whatever you want to call it. Um, a lot of my bags I get from the Dollar Tree and they're more canvassy, but I needed one that was more like plasticky. Even though now that I'm feeling this, this isn't plasticky, but I don't know. And I also like the ones that are more sideways, like this one is more sideways versus, you know, up and down. And this was cute. And I've never seen this unless I haven't paid attention. Um, it's got double like smaller straps and then this one I've also never seen on a bag before has snaps not that I'll probably ever close it but this one says slice of summer it's got a watermelon there was a blue one that had I want to say a flamingo and then I think in today somebody I saw somebody have like a coral one and maybe a yellow one I don't know the only had this one and a blue one in mine so they I haven't seen these in forever and this is a dry bag for equipment. It is by Still Gear. It is not. Oh no, it is a um, it is a green briar, but it's just a bag that you can close. You put your wet clothes in it, and I thought this might come in handy, so I picked up one. I had one before, and I don't know where it went. I never saw it after the splash pad. So they have this dirty rice or jambalaya in I don't know another brand. It's a skinnier white I think I don't like that one this is by Tony Chatter Chatteries which is a name brand it's this Creo sauce that I use seasoning that I use I love this throw some ground meat in it and this makes a good meal it doesn't come in very often it's rare I'm, I see it like maybe once every couple months so I went ahead and picked up two because that's all they had she said it went really really quick um this is says enticingly easy I don't know if that's the brand it is not oh it's actually made here in Texas in Canton Texas um this is by Phoenix food I have used the funnel cake of this it was good I have used cheesecake of this and it was good this is cheesy garlic mix now it says makes only four but I thought four biscuits for a dollar just me and my kid I thought that was fine um, I know I recently, like a month or two, picked up a small garlic pepper. Well, they came out because I guess it's summertime. With the big garlic pepper, it's the 12 ounce for a dollar versus, I think, a regular 6 or 8 ounce. So, since this is one of my main seasonings, I went ahead and used, got that. Oh. No, I didn't throw your teeth away. I found your teeth in the bag. Okay. Um, I got some stuff for the trip. Um, he is going to take this with us. It is a brisk fruit punch for him to drink. We're going to be gone a couple days, but with um, restaurants being the way they are, and I don't really want to stop anywhere, um, that's what a lot of this is for. I needed brown sugar just because I needed it, um, and I don't use it very often. In fact, what I just finished a week ago, I probably have had for, for a month, if not a year, no. So I just got a little box. This is Domino. Love that. Um, used to be able to find coupons for that. Don't know anymore. We need some wipes to take with us because, yeah, just, they're not only for butts, you know, hands, whatever. Um, I do have another Clorox thing. I do not like to wipe stuff, faces and stuff with that, but um, we needed some free and clear wipes. Uh, so got those. Um, there's the battery pack. Um, we are helping my mom. That's where we're going is to my mom's. 
in North Texas, go through her storage shed, and I don't know what the situation's like. I don't know how much we're going to get done in three days, but um, I don't want to take my stuff and leave it up there, my good Sharpies. So, um, got a pack of Jot permit markers, and then um, just in case we need labels, got the big labels. I just have what I call the... Mm, I took them out of here. I, think, I just have what I call the file... Um, size the really skinny ones um again I don't want to take my good loofahs I'm going to just take this pack and then just we can just dispose of them I mean you get four for a dollar they're probably tiny and yeah just yeah so there's that and I saw these in somebody's haul did not think which one was this did not think that this Dollar Tree would have them because this Dollar Tree is not a Dollar Tree plus and I had not seen this at the Dollar Tree Plus that has the expanded craft or what do they call it? Crafter's Corner. But they have, um, I saw at least four different kinds of cars and trucks to paint. And then they got the little round head, I guess it's supposed to represent a body. I don't know. These are by Greenberg, but I thought this was just something fun for my kid. I know he's 12, but he's autistic, so whatever. But the main reason I went was for this bingo game. Um, it is a travel game. Ever since I've saw these come out a year or two ago, I was like, I want to travel and do these with my kid. I think they'd be so fun. He likes bingo. And so, yeah, we finally can get them. They're dry erase boards and two markers. Not sure how great the markers are, but you just play... Bingo. I guess you just mark them off as you go. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And then today at the other one were the other ones that I was trying to find. This is a license plate game. You get instruction card, the game, and then three. Everyone plays this game. You can choose to play your own. I'm not sure if those are dry erase markers or not. But, um, yeah. And even... If we don't use these, we could always just, um, I don't know. This one may not have been the greatest because we're not leaving the state. I don't know. We might do something else with this one for, because I still am going to be doing some stuff next month with school, even though he's done with school, but that one might be good social studies. But then there's this one. It is a seek and find one. Um, use the suggestions on the bottom to secretly pick out one object on the card. It's up to the opposite to guess. So that will be fun to do. So yeah, that's mainly what I got. Oh, and I got these two, these watermelon hairballs. I used to like the, um, Sour Patch Kids watermelon, but ever since I found these, these are soft and they're not as sweet. They're sweet, don't get me wrong, but not as sweet. So, um, yeah, I need to keep that because I need to show that for fetch okay now these are by I didn't think these were by Greenbrier but they are by Greenbrier I had not seen these Baker select like chocolate I guess Twinkies I don't know my kid will try them out I know we've tried another brand and they were gross but I don't think it was these I like vanilla so I got vanilla I don't know if we're gonna try these out now or if we we might just take those with us um every time I see this it only I only see this in the summer the same thing with the teriyaki sauce this I love on some pork chops. They show chicken. Never tried it on chicken, but pork chops. Oh, garlic pork chops, yes. Um, this was interesting, and I thought for a dollar we will try it. Walgreens has their big gallon. I don't know. They're huge. They're Arizona teas and fruit punch. Not fruit punch. Watermelon for $1.99. Y'all, that's an amazing deal. Um, they're a little bit heavy for my kid to do. I saw this. You put it on a box. I mean, it shows a bottle but i would assume you could do it on something like that and it's supposed to make it easier to pour fit standard two liter bottles well i don't know we will see so yeah i thought that was kind of handy you just never know what the dollar tree is going to have just never know um so i found the other day or a couple weeks ago i found the pot holders and then today in another store i found i don't know if you can tell what these are I found the trucks. You get two of them. They are scrubber dishcloths. I like the scrubber ones. They also had the hand mitt, the oven mitt that's like the whole hand. I don't like those things. They just drive me crazy. Got those to match that. Um, 
somebody showed these. I do not understand the point of the little spatula, the spoon and stuff. But I do understand the point of these. The ones I have, I think I've gotten before at Dollar Tree a long time ago. Or at Walmart. Because Walmart sometimes has these for 98 cents. Um, but my rubber hot pink ones are tearing off. So I just went ahead and got another one of these. This is already 10 minutes. Somebody showed the tiny ping pong game. And these were at the cash register on an aisle. And my son loves ski ball. And I thought these are pretty cool. I thought we could take these with us. Um, in case we lose the ball. I got a backup. I got another timer. Been needing one. Just to keep forgetting. Um, even though I got those hard freezer things. I think this might work better. I actually got this at our local HEB. Which is our grocery store. This is a huge one for a dollar. They had smaller ones for 50 cents. So I don't know. This might like curve around stuff and be better. And then. Y'all. Just real quick. Have y'all ever seen spray hand sanitizer? This is from our local H-E-B. They're a Hill Country brand. Uh, I don't know how much this was. I want to say three something. But I've been having a hard time finding antibacterial spray. Because I want to take some with me and spray stuff down. But I thought this might work okay. So yeah, I got that. And then there is a deal on Voss Water. These are on clearance or sell at my Walgreens. Have been for a while. These are 28.74. They're originally like almost three bucks. They're on clearance or sale for $1.59. I think it's checkout 51 that has some kind of deal if you buy three of these. Um, but I also thought these were good to take. And then we could, I use these bottles for sensory stuff. So I'm, oh, and then this thing, because I am getting rid of the box that I have in the Jeep. And I want to try to use this for stuff to slide under it because the box is taking up too much room. But anyways, that is my haul, and we got a, uh, can you see it over there, a lemon lime big old bottle of drink. So yeah, this is my haul. Thank you for watching. Sorry if it's so long. I will talk to you later. Bye.